Coming to you live from the palatial studios of PBJ Productions. Welcome to Patrick and BJ Talk Real Estate, where we talk about life, the universe, and everything as it relates to real estate. Hey everybody, it's BJ. And Patrick. And we're back talking about all things real estate and what's going on on the island and uh, in the world of real estate. And today, we thought we would talk about our uh, most recent, we both ended up at an event uh, that was being hosted by the uh, Langford Chamber. It's a West Shore Chamber. West Shore Chamber. That's right, yeah. Okay. Not to be confused with the chamber that's run out of Victoria. Right, that's correct. Because they have their own. Yeah. So, um, you know, we were at an event that the chamber was hosting and, um, you know, had a really enjoyable time. So we thought it'd be great to talk about it because I think there's a lot of value in, um, in the community, the business community and the, and the connections that are made, um, through the chamber. And so, you know, this may be, if you're watching and you're a business owner, maybe you're watching and you're, uh, you're self-employed, um, this is a great option, but let's let's talk about that. Yeah, I've always had good experiences. Uh, I was a longtime member of the West Shore, West Shore Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. for a while. And then uh, in a previous company that we both worked at, uh, the company was a member at the Victoria, Victoria Chamber. Chamber yeah. You know, and I always found it really good to take advantage of the, the opportunity to meet folks in our communities and find out what other people are doing yeah and not everybody comes in there saying like uh, hey buy this or buy that it's not a sales pitch yes really it seems like you get to develop relationships over time there's yeah. people I've known there since like over 10 years sure so and and it's great because it's like now they're involved I didn't stay there um, now they're involved in the higher level of the chambers sure so they're directors or presidents and it's like oh it's like so easy to talk to everybody because i know all of sure. this i know all the staff i know yeah. all the directors yeah um so for me it's like returning to home sure so it uh, yeah yeah it, it was yeah. a great opportunity to develop relationships with people i probably wouldn't have yeah in the community yeah oh did i sell them all houses no I didn't yeah. sell them all houses. Right. But, you know, they've been really good connections. We've connected sure. on other things yeah. other than that. Yeah. And so, yeah, and I, think I that, really enjoyed that. Part. Yeah. And I think the thing for me that goes right with what you're saying is, um, number one, it's just good to be around other human beings again, right? We are kind of getting back into that after COVID. Especially. Right. Yeah. That's been a big um, reason for me to, to get back. Right. And, and I think the other thing, too, is... Um, you know, the greatest level of success is not where we compete. It's where we collaborate. And, it, and, and, and events and organizations like the Chamber allow uh, business people to, and people who are, you know, some, some of them, I talked to, to, to one lady, she wasn't, quote unquote, a business person, but she's with a nonprofit that's, you know, doing positive work in the community and things like that. It just allows everyone an opportunity to get together and collaborate and to, you know, are we going to do something together today? Well, not necessarily, but maybe one day, right? Maybe there's one day we want to do some kind of community event to promote something uh, with uh, one of these these people. I'm thinking about the 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 lady with, at the nonprofit. Maybe we want to do something to support that nonprofit and put, you know, help raise funds for it or something like that. But it just allows a place to make those connections, to um, build those relationships where, you know, it's really about, business is really about community, right? It's not about just us and, uh, you know, us four and no more, or just my organization or just what I get out of it. <laughs> right? There's a couple of things to say about that. Like how many small businesses are the ones sponsoring uh, the <clears throat> soccer camp, the baseball team, yeah. right? So that's a, that's a pretty easy, clear, thing to understand yeah um i wanted to add while you're saying all that is perfect it's not what you know it's who you know sure right so if you build relationships it's easier to come to somebody for an ask yeah even if you what if you you build a relationship and you never ask them for anything yeah that's that's okay too right 
Sure. But you never know who, or you're able to, able to connect this person and that person that could help each other somewhere. Yeah, hundred percent. Right? Yeah. So and and the other part of it is you know going into it with the thinking of well how can I help? How can I be of service to? my community and the business community and everything else that's going on around here and how can I be involved and so we just uh, you know this is a little bit shorter maybe than what we do normally but we just wanted to talk about um, just the, the organizations like the chamber but talking about the chamber in the West Shore and just put in a plug if you're a business owner or um, you know you're self-employed whatever the case might be check out their website maybe I mean we could probably put it in the, the the uh, description, description well, here yeah. if you want to check out the website but um it, it i think it's just been very positive for us i know we've you've been in it for a long time i've only been in this one for a little while yeah. um and so you know if you're if you're in that position we just encourage you to reach out and be part of the community you know we're not meant to do life by ourselves we're not meant to be isolated and one of the things about being a business owner and being in business it's easy uh, to get isolated. It's easy to get so in the what you're doing to grow your business and so focused that you've forgotten to take time for yourself and just be around, you know, other human beings. Your computer screen doesn't count. You know, I sit in my office if I'm doing office stuff and I'm listening to the Edmonton Sports Radio. That doesn't count as interaction with another human being either, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think it's, you know, I, th I think it's one of the, uh, those great opportunities too. So. so let's put it this way, right? So if we could connect with more business owners that have started up their business recently, and if they could share their story, their challenges on our podcast, yeah. like we're already doing with yeah. other people, yeah. but it would be amazing to meet more people to do that. Yeah. I think there's going to be all sorts of gold nuggets uh, of success that people can learn from, 100%. that we can all support each other, 100%. That way, right? From collaboration, hundred percent. And if there's first-time home buyers that like bought recently, I want to hear their stories too. Yeah, I want to know what they went through to get to their first place. Yeah, and we're and we're gonna have some of those coming up. Some great. I'm excited uh, about those. Yeah, some yeah. some great times that we have talking to uh, some past clients and how they navigated that whole process and um, to where they are now and you know how they're enjoying. Uh, not having someone say, "Hey, we're going to sell our place, so you have to find a new oh, place to live." I've heard that so many times. Right? right? Yeah. So absolutely. and 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 it happens. I I'm not I'm not downplaying anything, or but I know that was one of the things that one one of my clients when I talked to them about, and we're going to have a show their the interview with them, but they were so excited about having, you know, being well, that in that position. Security, right? Well, because they're you know a young couple with a young child, mm -hmm. so you know. But, but we're going to get to that. But uh, the point of all of that, again, going back to where we started this was with the chamber and, and with, um, you know, getting involved. And so we just encourage you again, if you, if you haven't, maybe it's something you want to consider. Uh, as far as us goes, thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for watching the video today. And if you haven't, please subscribe, like the video, tell, uh, tell other people about the video. It helps us to grow the channel, get the word out. And like we said, we're going to do, and we are doing some different things that we throw in here and there about just the community. And because, you know, that's the thing we're, we're, we're talking about real estate in Victoria, but I don't think you can talk about real estate in the greater Victoria area without talking about life in the greater Victoria area. Yeah. Stuff that's happening around here. That's, right. that's relevant. Of right. course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, thank you for that. So, uh, again, like and subscribe if you haven't, and um, watch for us next time. Yeah, and if you see us at the chamber, feel free to say hi, and we'll see you in the next Absolutely. video. See ya.